gentlemen. Uh, my name is Timothy, and uh, I wanted to do another review, and this time of a cigar. Now, this is not uh, a very high-end cigar. Uh, got these at a discount through, I don't know if it was Pipes and Cigars or Cigars International, one of those. I got a pack of them, and I have one here uh, for you. It's got a, a good uh, size for, you know, probably, what, between a 30 and 40 minute smoke, uh, depending on how well you milk it. Now, I am going to use the clip. There we go. And then what I like, uh, I'm going to use what I like to uh, use for both pipes as well as cigars. I have others, but that's what I'm going to use today. So, just to get started, it definitely has a little bit of a cherry flavor to it. Not overpowering, it's not really sweet like maybe an acid from Drew Estate or one of those, but yeah, it does have some sweetness to it. Yeah, so let's light this sucker up and see what we get. All right. Well, almost immediately I can tell you that the sweetness begins to wear. Um, it does not have uh, a lot of sweetness on the draw. Once you, once you light it, it definitely comes with more of a, a subtler sweetness to it, where you catch the deeper notes of the cherry and uh, of the, the actual tobacco itself. Um, this is a, a nice relaxing cigar it's got a good smell to it uh, so you're not going to be chasing people away while enjoying uh, your cigar this one's nice and uh, sweet mild so uh, the Cuban Cuban honeys for this particular one Says that this is a, a fan play, a favorite of the Cuban Honeys line. Cherry is exactly what you would want and expect. Bold black cherry notes coat the palate as soon as the flame hits the foot. The firm, the further you dry, you dive into this flavor bomb, subtle notes of sweet caramel enter the fray, with a slight hint of coca appearing on the finish. And it's true. Um, it does have, like I was saying earlier, it has this nice subtleness to it that it's not that does it's not that punch sweet, but it definitely gets into the lower notes uh, of the sweetener and the the sweetness of both the um, the cherry as well as the tobacco itself. So in this line of Cuban honeys. They have a large plethora for whatever your tastes is. Coffee, a Southern Gentleman, which is a blend of vanilla bean mixed with a combination of tropical fruits. Then um, a Dr. Kocher, I assume, K-O-C-H-E-R, uh, which has a, a taste of an ice cold soda. Um, and I had this one uh, a little bit ago, and it was, I enjoyed it. I wasn't sure what I was going to get out of, out of something with Doctor in the name, but it actually did nice, uh, it had a very nice palette to it. Then it has the Drunken Truffles, which is a delectable dish of hearty 
coconut extract spliced with whiskey, coconut, Irish cream, and French vanilla. Um, this is this is one that I have not tried, and certainly one that I want because all of those things are things that I like for sure. And then they have a Cuban honey, honey, and uh, then a, a vanilla. So that's a little bit about the Cuban honey line. Um, I enjoy these. I'll, I will get these again, um, but I do have another. Uh, set of samplers that are coming. Unfortunately, they got shipped to a wrong address, and so uh, fortunately, I know somebody that's at that address still that I was able to say, "Hey, when you when you get them, would you forward them on to me?" So um, they'll be a little later in coming than I was expecting, and so a little bit later in some videos for you. But I have some more videos lined up. Um, for my uh, pipes and uh, and we'll get the cigars going here soon so gentlemen enjoy your next cigar very much I would recommend you try these Cuban honeys if you're in for a fairly cheap um, but a good robust flavor of a cigar and until next time uh, smoke on and as always have a good day